What's up, Pass Fit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell chest and triceps workout. We do recommend having a few different weights available to you so that you can switch up the resistance depending on the movement. You'll have an opportunity to use a bench, but it's not required. If you're ready to go, let's get moving. Before we begin the work portion of today's routine, we are going to start with a warm up. Make sure our chest and shoulders are ready to go. The first one is going to be a bent over T rotation, feet shoulder width apart. Now we're going to hinge at our hips, keeping our back straight. Our arms are straight down, palms are facing in. Now we are going to perform that T rotation. Keep your eyes on that hand as we rotate that right straight arm. Return back down. Now, keep your eyes on that left straight arm as we rotate up. Opening up your chest, shoulders, even a little mid back and thoracic spine here. Oh, even some lower back. Maybe it's just my workouts. <laughs> yeah, I feel the lower back oh as well. Oh my goodness. Well, we like these efficient moves, hitting multiple muscle groups, getting you ready to go here. Making sure to move at a warm up pace, not a work pace here. It's a dynamic stretch, so taking ourselves through that full range of motion, probably starting to loosen up a little bit here already. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we have a two for one move for next for you. It is a chest opener plus upright external rotation. Let's start with our good posture and our elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. Hands are up. I'm gonna bring my hands and my elbows together the best you can, full range of motion. And now we're gonna pull back. This time I want you to pull back on those elbows like somebody's behind you, pulling back on your elbows. Relax, hands come forward. And now hands back. This time somebody, like somebody's pulling, gently pulling back on your hands. So that one's a little more shoulder. All right, bring it back. Opening the arms up, pulling back on the elbows. You can feel that one's a little more chest. Hands forward, and then hands back. That's that external rotation. Again, taking yourself through this little sequence here. Maybe spending a little extra time in any aspect or part of it that you feel like you need extra work on, or feels extra tight or stiff. Ah, there we go. Making sure to breathe. For five, four, Three, two, one, good. Ooh. All right, shoulders are feeling loose. I'm feeling Chest warm. is feeling loose. Yes. Ready to get some work in? I'm ready. Boom. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, starting with the superset here, we're gonna go back and forth between a more chest dominant exercise, compound move, and a more tricep dominant exercise. So I'm gonna be using just the floor for this one. And if you're going to use a bench, now's the time to grab it. You'll need it for this superset. So up to you, not required, but hey, if you got a bench, might as well use it. Might as well. We're going to get started with a dumbbell chest press plus twist. So we need two heavier dumbbells. So whatever that looks like for you, we're gonna do eight repetitions. Getting both my dumbbells, getting down in a ready position here. Starting with my palms facing forward. I'm gonna press up and at the same time, I'm gonna twist my palms so they're facing inward. Uh, contract my chest muscles and then return them back down. So that's that twist up at the top. We're doing this one for eight repetitions, doing it together. Ready and begin. So pressing up, twisting those palms and then returning back down, twisting them back. That's one. Exhale as you bring the dumbbells up over. Inhale as you bring them down. And a common trend you'll hear us talking about throughout today's routine is keeping those weights under control and especially that lowering phase as the dumbbells are coming down. So often 
we're just tempted to allow those dumbbells to just flop back down, but I want you to focus on that aspect or portion of the movement. It's just as important as the pressing phase. Here's number seven, one more. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those chest muscles and return back down, very good. All right, next up, we have a dumbbell tricep extension exercise for you. It is an isometric exercise. So we're only working that big tricep muscle in the back of the arm. We need a lighter weight for this one. Definitely should not be using that same weight that you just used for that heavy chest press. Again, back to either the floor or our bench. And we're gonna perform 12 repetitions of this one. We're gonna start with our arms straight up overhead. Palms are facing forward. Now we're only gonna bend at our elbow joint a lot, keeping wrist tight and locked, allowing those dumbbells almost to get to our head and then extend straight up. So notice I'm not getting my shoulders involved. I'm not moving like this. All in the elbow on this one. And as I mentioned, 12 repetitions in total. Ready and begin. Control the way down and the way up. You feel those triceps taking over, that combination of those three muscles in the back of your arm. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Keep your wrist tight and locked. Don't allow them to get loose or kind of not in line with your elbow. You want everything nice and in line. Halfway point, six more to go. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Great combination here. That other one's a little more chest dominant. This one's working those triceps. You should really begin to feel them right about now. That's right. That's number 10. Last two. Let's go, come on. Exhale out to get those dumbbells up overhead. Last one. And there's 12. Nice work. Okay, so that's one time through our superset. We're gonna do it one more time. And this is your time to adjust your weight. If that was, if either one of those were too easy, time to up the weight. If they were too hard and you couldn't complete the repetitions that we've prescribed, time to decrease the weight. Everybody's different, no two bodies are the same. So really strength training is a learning process, understanding which weights are appropriate for you in which movement patterns. But as a rule of thumb, if you're doing eight repetitions, reps six, seven, and eight should be getting tougher and tougher. You know, doing 12 repetitions, 10, 11, and then 12 should be the toughest. That's kind of where you want to be. All Good right. advice. And also on purpose, this little downtime in between sets, we need 30 to 60 seconds in between for rest period and strength training. All right, enough talking, time to move. We got eight repetitions of our dumbbell chest press in twist, ready, and begin, press. And then again, up at the top, I want that chest contraction. That means you're literally squeezing your chest muscles together as you bring those dumbbells up and twist those palms so they're facing inward. It's halfway point, four more. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Two more. And controlling both phases here. And last one for eight. Very good. Nice job. All right. So we're all done with those. Let's get ready to do our second set of that dumbbell tricep extension. Sometimes people call it a skull crusher. Depends on what school you came from on that one. <laughs> I'm going to increase my weight a little bit. Didn't really feel it too much the first time around, so time to increase. And so again, you make that decision, what's right for you? Always kind of making little decisions about which weight to use. Getting back into ready position here. Those dumbbells are extended straight up overhead. Palms are facing forward and now only bending at that elbow joint. Make sure to check yourself. Don't let anything else move and begin. Because if you start moving other joints, uh, that means you're compensating and other muscle groups are getting involved. But we want those triceps to do all the work here. That's why we call it an isolation exercise. We are isolating 
those triceps. Very good. Again, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Six more. It's halfway. And about now. Oh, yeah. Feeling a little burn going on. Now I feel the Should burn. Should be feeling it working. That's nine. We're feeling it too. Keep pushing through it. You got it. Come on. 11. Last one right here. Come on. And 12. Excellent work. We're getting our next superset started with another press variation. This one is a dumbbell ISO plus narrow press. Similar weight to the weight that we use on that chest press plus twist, maybe slightly lighter. Again, two dumbbells needed for and this one. And again, you notice I still have my bench. So if you're using a bench, you can keep it. And if you're using the floor, you can keep the floor. Also, <laughs> you can, you know, if you have other stuff that you want to use, if you want to use a Swiss ball, exercise ball, feel free to do that as well. And if you're confident in using that. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes that can be a little, a little risky. Yeah, I'm not confident <laughs> in that. <laughs> All right. So getting down again into that starting position. This time we're going to actually start with our left arm extended straight up, palm facing in. And now my right arm with a narrow press, meaning keeping that elbow in, is going to press. We're going to do half on one side and then half on the other side. So it's 10 repetitions in total. So 10 on each side. Okay. So left straight arm extended, palm facing in. And now we're going to begin pressing with our right arm. Ready? Begin. One, two, keeping that elbow in close to your body. And what this is doing is making that tricep work more than your chest. Chest is still working, just not as much as on that first press we did. Seven. Slow it down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. And 10. Okay, right arm stays up. Now left arm presses. And you can see it's a long time under tension on this one, and that is by design. That time under tension is what's going to make those muscles get stronger here. And notice as I come down, I'm only bringing my tricep parallel to the bench and then right back up inhaling on the way down exhaling on the way up two more to go and there's the last one yep boom there's 10 repetitions oh my goodness oh yeah that was a Ooh. long set right that when you're is doing a long 10, set. 10 for each arm and the other one's working just my holding shoulders. and maintaining right definitely effective okay so we need lighter dumbbells for the next one. We're both gonna be on our feet. It is a standing low dumbbell fly. If you haven't done this before, start light. You can always go up in the second set. Start light. I'm gonna move my bench out of the way here for this one. So we're gonna have good posture here in a staggered stance. Shoulders are back. My hands aren't gonna be out like this. They're not gonna be straight down. Let's bring them up maybe about one foot. Oh, how many how many centimeters is a foot? <laughs> I always try to help our metric friends out there, Guys, but I got to get better at that. I'm too American okay. for that. Okay. okay, slight bend in our elbows. <laughs> Let's bring those dumbbells straight up and our pinkies together back down. So we're raising them up. Don't turn this into a curl. It's not a curl. We're bringing those dumbbells up with our chest muscles. We're doing this one for 10 repetitions. Again, light weight to start and begin. Notice there's a slight bend in our elbows. But you maintain that slight bend throughout, right? Yes. So again, we don't turn it into a curl on the way up. And then we control that lowering phase, control all the way down here. Definitely be a lot easier to just allow our arms to go back down, right? But we're not in it for easy, we're in it for results. Seven. 10 in total. You got it. Fighting through that burn. Ooh, yeah. Last one right here, come on. And there's 10. Ooh. Okay, shake it out here. And again, opportunity to adjust your weights as you see fit. If you chose a weight that was too heavy for that first set of ISO plus narrow press, Lighten it up. If it was too easy for you, 
And you're like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. That, was, that wasn't tough at all. In that case, recommend you up the weight. Oh my goodness. Again, 10 in total for each side here. Allowing our arms to rest and recover yes. in between. Again, so important in strength training to get enough recovery in between sets. It's not a cardio workout. It's not a HIIT workout. It needs to be some recovery time. And that's gonna allow you to maximize the weight that you're gonna use. If we just went back to back to back, you wouldn't be able to use a high enough weight. So it allows us to use bigger resistance for every movement. Okay. He but, knows what he's talking about. But that's been enough of a break, <laughs> unfortunately. So it's time to get going. Again, 10 on each side. Let's get that left straight arm up, right arm presses. Begin. Control the way down, control the way up. And it's not a race. Oh, trust me, I know it'd be a lot easier if we just boom, 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 boom. But as we've said before, we're not in it for easy, we're in it for results. That's why we're here. We're gonna feel so good when those results start to come. We see the fruits of our efforts. And last one right here, number 10. All right, other side, switch it right up, right into it. No downtime. Nope, our right arm is now straight up. Left arm is working, let's go. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Work on our chest, shoulders, and triceps with this one. You're always gonna get some work on your chest, or shoulders when you're working your chest. And nine, last one. Oh, feels so oh good. Woo, I'm feeling that burn on that one. Me That's too. working, That's working. it's effective. I like it. All right, learning to love that burn, folks. All right, going back to our light weight for that standing low dumbbell fly. If you need to adjust it, raise it, lower it, do so. Now is the time, again, for 10 repetitions. Eight should start to feel challenging. Nine is more challenging, and 10 is like, whew, that's about all I had. Yeah. I'm glad there wasn't 11 reps. That's how you should be feeling on these. I definitely dropped my weight halfway halfway in. I felt my form begin to suffer a little bit and you definitely don't want that. So I'm going to put my ego aside and drop my weight and that's okay. Sounds good. Totally okay. That sounds smart. Again, we want to be here to train another day. Right. All right, here we go. Not Ten. worth it to hurt yourself. 10 repetitions, arms are out, slight bend in those elbows and let's go. Bring them straight up and back down. It's almost like you're bringing those two ends of the dumbbells together. You don't have to click them together, but bring them up and together. You should feel that chest working to bring them straight up. And this is similar to a move often performed with a cable. So again, you could maybe visualize like you're on a cable machine or a band and you're pulling them up. Two more, come on. Feeling that burn in the chest. Last one, you got it. Ah, excellent work. Next up, we are going to burn out our chest and triceps with a push-up ladder. Mm. I'm gonna do mine from the floor. I'm going to do mine from the bench. So the higher the implement that you have, the easier the push-ups are going to be. So. For me, I'm gonna do it from a bench, but you can also do it from a high countertop, the side of a couch. You can even do them from the wall. And if you wanna make it harder than the floor, you can elevate your feet, but we'll leave that up to you. We're gonna do four sets. First set is gonna be as many push-ups as you can get in 40 seconds. Second set's gonna be as many as you can get in 30, then 20, and then 10. And we're gonna do each of those with just a 10 second break in between. <laughs> so. So I hope you're ready. So it's <laughs> Claudia's favorite exercise. I'm sure she'll tell you about this. No, no, She's no. super excited. I, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> well, you didn't have to. <laughs> All right. 40 seconds straight of push-ups. However many you can get. Everybody's different. You know, if you get th three push-ups in in 40 seconds, do your best. Yeah. Or if you can get an 80 in, it's up to you. All right. Here we go. 40 seconds in three, two, one, begin. Full range of motion, though. Don't give me any of those 
uh, we call it chicken push-ups, where you're like, bark, 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 just your neck moving. <laughs> the elbows. Why are you cracking jokes during <laughs> push-ups? I'm trying to take your mind off of these push-ups. Again, coming down until ideally your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. That's best case. You don't have to bury it chest to the floor. Oh, that's good advice. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. 10 more seconds, you guys. Those elbows shouldn't be up, flared out, but at about a 45 degree angle. Three, two, one, and break. All right, 10 seconds So right this here. break time is gonna go by fast. Yeah. Just give it a quick shake and we're right back into All right. it for 30 seconds. Let's go, 30 seconds and, and begin. The seconds that usually ends up being about the hardest because that break time wasn't really sufficient. So you're gonna feel it just like we are. Again, the purpose of this is to take you to the end, whatever you have. You don't have to do 30 push-ups in 30 seconds. Do the best that you can. Yes, it is tough by design. It's made to take you to failure. And break. All right. Oh so my goodness. Again, just a quick 10 second break. Just enough time for a shake out. Yep. We're starting again. In three, two, one, begin. And this one is 20 seconds in total. I'm starting to feel my heavy bag workout from yesterday about right now. <laughs> <laughs> Inhaling on the way down. Use that breath to get you back up. In five, four, three, two, one. Break. All right. Whew. Last 10 secons right here. <laughs> uh, fighting, fighting together, everybody. Come on, let's begin. Let's get this done. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Whatever you got, put it all out there. It's you versus you, let's go. Three, two, one, and break. Ha ha ha. We're gonna get our next superset started with a dumbbell pullover. Just one dumbbell needed. I'm gonna do it from the floor. I have my bench again. And again, just one heavier dumbbell for this one. Gonna perform it for 10 repetitions. We're gonna grab that dumbbell on the bottom and make almost like what I call like a diamond grip. So grip on the bottom of that dumbbell. And as you pick it up, it ends up being on the top like so. We're gonna start with that dumbbell extended with a slight bend in our elbows. Now maintaining that same bend in our elbows, we're gonna bring our arms back overhead. Feel that stretch. And now feel your chest as well as your back bring that dumbbell back to starting position. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on your flexibility, mobility, you may be able to go all the way back. You may only get halfway there before your shoulders stop you, and that's okay as well. We have 10 reps. Let's do it together and begin. And if you're on a bench, you're not gonna have that ground right behind you that's stopping you. So you're gonna have a bit more of a range of motion. Yeah, and feel free to take advantage of that range of motion if your shoulders allow you to. Again, we want to get a little gentle stretching on this one, but we don't want any pain or take it to the point where we, we lose our strength. You're going to inhale as you bring it down and back, and exhale as you bring it back up over your chest. And so this is, one, this is a kind of a unique move in that not only does it work your chest, but it does work your back as well. So technically it can be performed on a chest day or a back day. Really feeling those lats in your back. Yep. Your... yep, that's the back muscle that's working on this one as well. That's number seven, three more to go. Again, controlling the way down, getting equal distribution on both your right and left hand. Don't allow one hand or the other to take over. Maintaining that slight bend in the elbows. You don't want your arms locked out. And last one right here. And there is 10. All right, next up, it's a two for one move. It's a two and one negative fly to chest press. And so again, I'm gonna do this one on the floor. I'm gonna do mine from the bench. And we need two dumbbells. And for weight on this one, really for it's 10 repetitions, and we wanna find a weight that would be a little heavier than we might normally perform a dumbbell fly with because we're just gonna control the dumbbells on the way down. 
for a negative fly slight bend in those elbows all the way down but then here's the changing part then bring those dumbbells over your elbows and you're going to press so the purpose of that is we want to overload that negative yielding phase with the weight that we wouldn't normally be able to turn around and go straight back up with because you have to turn it into a press to get the dumbbells up. I see. All right, so that's 10 repetitions okay. on this one. Palms facing inward, slight bend in those elbows, and begin. So negative, control the way down. And once you get down to the bottom, bring the dumbbells over the elbows and press up. Repeat. And we want those dumbbells in line with our chest on this one. So not in line with our face or our, over our shoulders, but keep them down lower over our chest. We don't want those shoulders to take over. We want that chest to do the work here. Also, it's just healthier on our shoulders. Oh yeah. Maintaining that bend in the elbows as we lower the dumbbells down. Halfway point. And if you don't feel comfortable getting a full range of motion on that negative fly, really you can stop about halfway through, turn it into a press and come back up, depending on your shoulder mobility and shoulder health. That's eight, two more. And inhaling on the way down, exhale as you bring them up. And here's the last one. Ah, and there's oh, 10. Wow, that's a good one. All right, so one time through that superset means it's time to go back to our dumbbell pullover. And as you've learned so far today, this is the time to adjust the weight if you need to. Heavier, lighter, whatever it is, especially at this time of the, the workout, maybe, you know. Yeah, especially after those push-ups. <laughs> yeah. Things are gonna be a little shaky. Exactly. So. After those, after those push-ups, maybe everything's <laughs> feeling heavy. <laughs> All right, and you wouldn't be alone on that one. Okay, again, using that diamond grip here as we get into position for our dumbbell pullovers. When you get comfortable on this one, it's definitely one that you're able to go heavier on mm -hmm. once you get that comfort level with it. Maintaining that slight bend in the elbows. Ready and begin. Inhale and then exhale. Good. Again, feel that stretch. It's a good, healthy stretch. Your chest, back, and shoulders here as you go through that full range of movement. Every repetition getting you just that much closer to your goals. Great time of the workout to think about that. You're not just here for fun, that's an added benefit. You're here for results, you're here to accomplish those goals. What is it? What are you working towards? Keeping it at the front of your mind, not the back of your mind as an afterthought. Here's seven, three more. Getting a little bit tougher now, but you're tougher. Getting stronger for it here. Inhale. Exhale, almost there. Last one, come on. Let's go, Tribe. And there's 10. Oof. Okay, we're getting closer to the end here, I promise you. Oh, wow. We do have that second and last set of our two for one, negative fly, two chest press. Make sure to use those legs every time we go to pick up our dumbbells. Don't just bend over. Thanks for reminding me. I always feel attacked when you say that. Well, I'm not even looking at you, okay? <laughs> I'm actually trying to help uh, the tribe at home, so. <laughs> says more about me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into the position here. We all need a little help. None of us are perfect, myself included. Palms facing inward, a little bit of bend in those elbows, maintain that same bend. And here we go, negative fly, control the way down, all the way, dumbbells over the elbows, and then press. Very good. Another important one to focus on our breathing. Get that inhale, breathing in on the way down, and then breathing out, using that breath on every repetition. Feeling that chest starting to work here. 
Almost done though, been a long workout. I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. It's a Ooh wee, that's it's a, six. It's a long road, but it's worth it. Let's do it, come on. Putting in the work so we can get those results. That's day right. in, day out, showing up, putting in that work, having confidence that it's gonna get us to where we wanna go. All right, investing in your future self. Ooh, I like that. Muscle is so important as you get older. Come on, let's do it right here. Last one. And there it was, 10. Good job. Woo, feeling that pump? Yes. Nice work out there, HasFit Tribe. Hope you're feeling as good as I am right now. I'm hoping you're looking even better. Oh, that wouldn't be hard <laughs> to accomplish. All right, we are going to move into our cool down. Purpose of the cool down is get a little extra mobility work in, as well as decreasing that DOMS, that uh, soreness the next day. First one we're going to do is going to be a behind the back chest opener. So I'm going to take my fingers and interlace them behind my back. If you can't quite reach, just get them back there. And now I'm going to pull my chest as well as my, bring my chest forward as I pull my shoulders back, I should say. And if you want a little extra stretch, you can bend over and bring those arms up at the same time. Again, the main goal here is just to pull those shoulders back and bring that chest forward. Just a static stretch holding it here. Big deep breaths. For three, two, one, zero. Come on up. Next up, we have a crossover arm stretch. So I'm gonna take my left arm, bring it across my body. And with my right arm, I'm gonna bring that left arm closer. And I'm just gonna hold here. Again, another static stretch. All these static stretches we do, we wanna to get to about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. Purpose is to feel a stretch not tear the muscle away from the bone and tendons. A couple big deep breaths and switch it up. Opposite side now. And again, don't be alarmed if one side's a little tighter than the other. Very common. Or snaps and cracks. Yeah, and, and as long as there's no pops. pain associated with that snap, yeah. crackle, pop, then nothing to be alarmed about. Loving these old school stretches. And three, two, one. I just love stretches in Taking general. Back to gym class. Older I get, the more <laughs> stretching I need. I'll oh, tell you I what. Know. Overhead tricep stretch next. I'm gonna take my left hand, bring it overhead, and ideally it's come to touch my right trap. But get it up there the best you can. If that's as far as you can get, that's all right. Opposite side hand now is gonna reach up and grab that elbow. I'm gonna pull that arm down and across. So I want to feel that stretch all in here. That's what I'm aiming for. Overhead tricep stretch. Ooh, feeling good. That's right, me too. Especially after that workout. This is just what my body needed. And three, two, one. All right, loosen it up, opposite side now. And here's that time of the routine where we're gonna take 10 seconds to just acknowledge how awesome it is that you showed up today. You cross this workout off your list. You show discipline, establish that healthy habit. You made it happen. A million reasons to skip today's workout, but not you, not today. You got it done. That's right. And we love you for it. You showed up. That's all that matters. And two, one, zero. Excellent. <sighs> Speaking of showing up, one way to help you stay consistent and get the best results possible is by following a complete exercise program. And HasFit does offer complete exercise programs regardless if your goals are to uh, build strength, build muscle, lose fat, or all Endurance. the above. Yes. We have you covered. That's right, we certainly do. Those programs can be found on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to either an Android or Apple device. You can also help support us by stopping by our store, picking up some gear like a HasFit t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.